help address workplace safety concerns raised by an ABC 21 Digging Deeper investigation, the State Chamber of Commerce weighed in today on our Dying on the Job report, focused on the death of a 23-year-old worker at Fort Wayne Plastics and the system that limits fines and lawsuits in cases just like this one. Chamber of Commerce Vice President Mike Ripley said while he believes most employers are, quote, doing the right thing regarding workplace safety, not everyone is. Quoting now, there are select employers who unfortunately are not properly protecting their workers. This is unacceptable. What happened to Ms. Hogue is an awful tragedy that should never have happened. There were blatant disregards of safety procedures, end quote. And the chamber says it will work with State Representative Martin Carbaugh on, quote, thoughtful, reasonable reforms to Indiana regulations. We connected today with Carbaugh, who has filed notice that he will introduce legislation in the upcoming session. You watched our investigation and you have a reaction to it. Yeah, absolutely, Alexis. I mean, your story was very moving to me. I, I do remember hearing about the event that happened um, and thought, my goodness, that's terrible. I had no idea what you found out about the safety, um, removal of the floor of the machine and just all of that kind of stuff. So that really hit me hit me in the heart uh, and also made me pretty frustrated by where we sit um, as far as the workers' comp law is concerned. You can watch the rest of our interview in the part three of our Digging Deeper investigative series, Dying on the Job, that's next Thursday at 6. Key issues raised by our investigation include the limits on fines imposed by negligent businesses and state laws that make it impossible for family members to sue when a loved one dies, even in cases of negligence by a business. You can find all of our reports, extended interviews, and documentation in a special section on our website, WPTA21.com.